whenever I feel that constriction about something, I know that whatever thought that is, is not serving me. Mm -hmm. The truth doesn't hurt like that. Now, that doesn't mean it might not be factually true. Like factually, are we responsible for our choices? Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we have the freedom to choose, we're responsible in that sense. But I can think that like, and I see many of these presence-led, heart-led, however we describe them, loving, serving entrepreneurs, it's my responsibility or my responsibility to fulfill my calling, you know, this, because I can see this, I have to share this with the world. And like, if I don't, I'm not fulfilling my destiny. And I mean, that's a burden and that feels heavy. And that's not what the truth feels like. Yeah. <laughs> so there's another way, and it might be an exploration for you. Like, okay, so if it's true that I'm responsible in what way, and one one way I've heard it expressed, and I really like it, is it's not responsibility, like I have to take on the burden of it. It's I'm response-able. I am able mm -hmm. to respond. When I have choice, I am able to respond. And the truth is that I see in myself and other people is that we're always responding to the best of our ability to see clearly. Now, it's variable. Because if I'm having one of those really shit days. I'll go back to my metaphor. And I've been painting with sad colors all day long. I'm probably more likely to respond from that sad lens. And my actions and behaviors, my thoughts, certainly my feelings are going to be colored by it, especially if I don't see that I'm doing it. But on a day that it's like I'm painting with all the, the pretty colors, the happy colors, the joyful colors, the gratitude colors, the experience of me is cleaner and clearer, but it's always the best I can see in the moment. 